Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Douglas, and I'm back with another exquisite fountain pen pairing episode. And thank you in advance for liking and subscribing to my channel. Your support shows you have excellent taste, so thanks. And today is actually the penultimate perfect pairing in my four-part series called Doug's PPP, or Doug's Perfect Pen Pairings. So that would make it Doug's PPPP. This is where I share the most perfect pen and ink pairings for the discerning fountain pen aficionado. And I hope you're all wearing apparel and paraphernalia appropriate for perfect pen pairings. Leave your sweats and PJs for yoga channels and riffraff like that. Now it's time for everyone to choose a mantra. What's that? It's like a word you say that brings you peace, a word of release and catharsis. You mean like No! <gasps> For me, this is a blue tie event. Today I have another fine selection of pairings for those of refined tastes and sensibilities. We are going to look at four pen and ink pairings that will whet your appetite for your own writing expeditions affect le stylo plume. Four different inkners will be represented in today's panoply of pen pleasures. We will be returning to the elegance and grace of two of the most upscale purveyors of inky goodness, Dimine and Eje Urbain. These two inkners are so classy, fans of their wares often get into fistfights over the proper pronunciation of their names. Plus, I'm teaching your daughter riding, grooming, and at no extra charge, pronunciation. Father, you made me the happiest girl who ever lived. Oh, nuts. Diamine, 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 Eeny Meeny Diamine. Pick one and come out fighting. But learn to pronounce Jacques Urbain properly, and you too can look down on your local pen shop clerk with derision. Like I did when I asked for J. Urbain and was told that they don't carry that brand, but they did stock Jack Herbin. And that reminds me of a reasonable story. Do you find it reasonable? About when I was just a teeny little professor and I was taking attendance. I asked if Lucien Dufour was in attendance and was met with stony silence. Lucien Dufour? I asked again. A young lad in the front row said, Oh, oh, you must mean me. It's Lucien Dufer. I hate those Frenchies. My dad's one of them. To which I responded, Okay, okay, you can be Lucien. But back to the bottles, literally. The first diamine we are going to examine is Jack Frost, and it comes in this ever so glamorous bottle with the tiny glass feet. You know it will be great ink if the bottle has tiny glass feet. This elegant bottle allows this Jack Frost ink to rise above the rest, literally 10 millimeters above your desk. And what better ink for a sweltering summer day but a frosty bottle of Jack? Ah, thanks. I needed that. Next, from Diamine, is all you need when writing your short stories about dragons and incest for submission to the Reader's Digest, and that is Diamine Oxblood. This ink will save you opening your veins to send your enemies poison pen letters, as it is an excellent substitute for the real thing. And don't forget to seal your letters with a swack. And next we have a couple of favorites from Jack Herbin. Lucian's favorite ink company. The first is Carub de Chypre, or Carubi de Chypers, according to Lucian. This is a lovely caramel colored ink with a wonderful green sheen and gold shimmer. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with golden sheep. It's true, it does have the power to heal. And finally, from J. Urbain, we have my second favorite Stormy, Stormy Gray. This is a lovely deep gray ink with a golden shimmer. And the best thing about this ink is, even though it is relatively expensive, it will cost you exactly $120,970 less 
than my favorite Stormy. So be prepared to fight it out about how to pronounce these four beautiful ink and pen combinations right now. Welcome to Doug's Perfect Pen Pairings, the penultimate program. Please feel free to add your comments below regarding these ink and pen combinations. What are your perfect pairings? Like with fine wines, everyone's tastes are different. They're subjective. What tickles your palate might not appeal to others. Some people prefer to pair their pens with inks that are actually opposite to the actual color of the pen, for instance. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And let's get started with the ink pairings. The perfect pen and ink combination to cool you down on a hot summer day. Diamine Jack Frost and my Penlux Masterpiece Snowflake Limited Edition. This pen is ice embodied. It looks like the pen will melt in your hand. I'm so pleased with this big, girthy, piston filling pen and sublime steel 1.1 millimeter Yovo stub nib. It's as smooth as glass and very wet. So it shows off the splendor of Jack Frost's shimmer and sheen beautifully. I sign a lot of cards with this pen and ink combination and I'll often get messages back from the recipients asking, what is that amazing ink? Next up is Diamine Oxblood and my new Hongdian 1841. This is a very inexpensive Chinese made fountain pen and I've been impressed by it since I unboxed it. I've yet to review this pen but will soon. I bought this ink specifically as a good match for this pen and I'm not disappointed. I'm going to take a moment here to compare Oxblood with Ancient Copper as some have asked for that comparison. Here is my Waterman Karen and Ancient Copper next to the Oxblood. You can see that Oxblood is redder and the Ancient Copper is more orange. And just for grinners, let's put down Robert Oster Asterkeza Rot next to both and we'll see that it occupies a nice mid-range between Oxblood and Ancient Copper. And on to the Jack Herbin inks that Lucian's dad will love. Here's my brand new aluminum Pen BBS 323 in Mocha and J. Urbain Carub de Chypre. Contrary to popular opinion, this ink has nothing to do with sheep but is named after the carob bean from Cyprus. I haven't reviewed this aluminum Pen BBS 323 yet. This is my fifth 323, but my first in metal. It is ultra silky in the hand and this shape is easily the most comfortable desk pen I've owned. I say desk pen because without a clip it doesn't actually travel well. And you have to watch that it doesn't roll off your desk. I've solved that issue with my other 323s by adding jewelry to them. Like this cheap costume jewelry I added to my Amber is a Cat 323. And finally a color that is devoid of color except for how it sparkles. J. Urbain Stormy Grey and my Ranga 4C Ebonite Fountain Pen. I love this pen and ink combination. The gold shimmer in the Stormy Grey is completely absent unless you use a pen that is a gusher. And this Ranga doesn't disappoint. It has a number six size broad steel Yovo nib that lays down a lot of wet Stormy Grey. The resulting sparkle is really spectacular. And there you have it. Please tune in again next Sunday for another pairings party. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.